There are many reasons why Patagonia fascinates so many among us. Being finis terra, Latin for end of the world, the extreme south of the planet, land of ancient conquerors, outlaws and pirates. We at GV decided to explore it in our own way, on a motorcycle. 4,415 kilometers from Porto Mont to Ushuaia, the southernmost city in the world. A solo trip sponsored and supported by Jeevi to live an extreme and unforgettable adventure. This is the story. As soon as I land in Porto Mont, I clear customs and I board a boat to the island of Chiloe. The name Chiloe derives from the Halush language and means the land of the sea gods. This island amazes of the lush wilderness and the palafitos, the multicolored fishermen's villages built on stilts. There are also many beautiful iglesias, colorful wooden churches that have been declared world heritage by the UNESCO in 2000. Today I'm going back to the mainland and finally reach the famous Carretera Astral. This route runs for 1,240 kilometers in the wild backcountry, among untouched sceneries. This road connects many Chilean areas that will be otherwise inaccessible, and until a few years ago, it was still unpaved. Today is Christmas Day, and outside the village of Manejales, I meet a family of farmers who invite me for dinner and to spend the night at their place. Wonderful people who made my Christmas very special. The following day, right before leaving, I take a detour to go and see the Piedro del Indio, a huge cliff that truly resembles an Indio profile. From there I ride a few hundred kilometers until I reach Puerto Tranquilo. What a spectacular excursion on the lake. It's the General Carrera Lake, known for its cathedral de Marmo, and unbelievable concretions that form a maze of tunnels and arches that look like white marble chapels. Time to leave for Paso Rabalos, where I cross the lonely border and finally enter Argentina. After a lot of elevation changes and after meeting wild horses and riding through deep canyons, I finally arrive to the cave Cueva de las Manos and its rural paintings that have also been declared UNESCO World Heritage. From here I rush to Bajo Cacaolas, where I must fill up, given that the next station is more than 350 kilometers away. I'm back on the road, riding the famous Ruta 40, Route 40, towards Tre Lagos, where I'm faced with a very challenging 76 kilometers detour. The muddy and sticky surface has no mercy for the less experienced riders. These are the scars of what has been a true fight with the mud. Looks like I made it, I have to admit, a true satisfaction. Today I reach El Chelton at the bottom of Mount Fitzroy, 3,405 meters tall, and I keep riding to visit the Hotel La Leona, where outlaws Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid went hiding after a robbery. After that I reach the most visited area in Patagonia, the Perito Mourinho, a huge moving glacier 30 kilometers long and up to 60 meters deep. The glacier is inside Lake Lago Argentino and it is considered the third largest sweetwater reservoir on the planet. From time to time large chunks of ice break off and crash into the lake with a deafening roar and rising huge waves. What a show! The road takes me to Parco Torres del Paine, a nature sanctuary with canyons, lakes, blooming valleys, waterfalls and wild animals. After finding my way through the Guanacos Lamas to block the road, I head towards the Cueva del Milodon a cave where the skeleton of a giant sloth was found more than a century ago. To whoever asked me about the Viento Patagon, the Patagonian wind, 
I always reply showing this picture. Scary. The last kilometers before Ushuaia, the southernmost city in the world. I throw a quick glance at the funny penguins before boarding the ferry to cross the Magellan Strait. And finally, here I am, reaching the final destination of Ushuaia, on the island of Grand Isla de la Tierra del Fuego. This is where the Ruta Nacional numero trace comes to an end, and this is also where my adventure comes to an end. From the airplane window, I ideally say goodbye to this incredible and extreme piece of land that will always stay in my heart for its beauty and its warm and welcoming people. It was amazing to be able to travel through Patagonia until the end of the world.